ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Orcish Inn. We're now in episode 8, and I have been working my little Orcish butt off. <laughs> I have spent the last few game days, probably 4 or 5 game days, just clearing out trees. I wanted to kind of do that on my own because it is such a long and painful process. I didn't want to, uh, of course, torture you guys with... <laughs> Chopping wood, selling wood, chopping wood, selling wood, chopping wood, selling wood, then sleep, rest, uh, fish, you know, all those things that you need to do. As a matter of fact, I've worked so hard, I've worked my little orc sick. He's sick right now. He's got a little bit of the sniffles. He's got a little bit of the sniffles. Yes, he's infected right now and it uh, won't take long to fix us. We only have 30, I only have 34, 32% stamina to fix before he is all cured once again. Caught one fish, one more should probably fix him up. So also during that time, we, I've been able to harvest multiple crops of hops, sugar beets, and even oats. And the bar has been quite busy. We've had the agricult coming in every day. I had another little scuffle. <laughs> Got a couple more teeth. Had to punch out some orcs, you know, kind of the typical, you know, run of the mill everyday orc type stuff where you have to beat up some orcs, brew some beer, harvest some crops, you know, all those things that orcs do on a daily basis. So now, as I said, we've cleared, I've cleared off a whole bunch of this area. It took a, it's so painful to clear out areas like this. It was so many trees, but now, oh, actually before, before it gets too late, I want to make sure I talk to the hawker here. I would like to buy all the nails he can spare me. Uh, let's do 10 at a time. Uh, how many do we want? I want, because we're going to start building the brew house now. I want the brew house on the right side, not the left side. Originally, we were going to do it on the left side, but I think it makes more sense to do our industry over here and have the actual entrance to the bar over here. Right? So the bar is going to be on this side, brew house on this side, and then what are we going to do with the old fluffy orc end? Well, once we're all built, everything's all set up, we're going to turn the fluffy orc end into my personal home. This is where my I am going to live. So that's really exciting. And then we'll have to rename. We'll have to name the new bar once we get to that point. But I'm not ready yet. Don't send me names yet. <laughs> we're not ready. Okay, so let's finish clearing off some of this area. Yeah, I just want, you know, it's doing some of this on my own I thought was really important because, like, literally, this is what I did for, you know, an hour and a half, was just sit here and click on trees, and then go eat, and then click on some more trees, and then click on some more trees, and then go eat, and then sleep, and then, yeah, you know, painful stuff. All right, so let's sell off any of the, and then selling, of course, any of the wood that we gathered. Now, I could, pro we could be processing, I, you, you guys even the com in the comments have said, why don't you process that wood into something more valuable? Uh, we totally could, it's just, it's just a time thing it's mostly just being impatient because there, there's so much wood there's just so much for us to go and uh, process all of it like into paper or you know lumber or whatever and then sell it it's not that it, we should do that but I mean even just selling straight up wood look at look at our in look at our money right now we're sitting at 30,000 bucks a good portion of that is just from selling raw lumber and there is no shortage of lumber in the world here. As a matter of fact, we even have acorns. I have 38 acorns, but because we get acorns every time we chop down a tree, so we could be growing more trees, although it would take some time for them to grow. <laughs> All right, eat up. All right, so there's, we've taken care of most of these, t the big stumps that I'm worried about right now. I might want to take care of that tree too before I start building. Ah, I don't know, I, I'm, in, I'm impatient. Uh, let's sell any of the wood that we have. Excellent, and let's go back and uh, maybe do a little bit of fishing, just a touch of fishing, because our stamina just goes down so fast when we're chopping down lumber. And he needs to fish. It's very important as an orc that you spend some time fishing in between all of that hard work. I feel a little bit like it's... Remember Fangor Forest from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> the second Lord of the Rings movie? Yeah, that's what I feel like. We've just we've torn down Fangor Forest. Tear it down. Tear down Fangor Forest. <laughs> Orcs in industry. We're going to turn this whole place into, you know, like buildings and industry and there's going to be smoke burling out of the the brew house and yeah i don't know it's going to be really really neat um quite a difference from uh you know all this nature blah nature we're orcs we don't care about nature we don't we don't really live in symbi symbiosis with nature we are kind of anti-nature i think just generally orcs are they're they're interested in industry and war but, and I'm trying to avoid the war part, although sometimes, sometimes the bar gets a little out of control and then we have to worry about war, <laughs> fighting with orcs in our own bar. Okay, so that should be good. Let's go... Um, actually, you know what? We need to replant our beet seeds. Beet seeds, by the way, so every beet seed is about 240 bucks. So, and then when we 
sell them, I think we're getting almost double that back. Like when we grow the beets into actual sugar beets, and then we sell them. I think we're making almost double on those. So that's an, been another real nice source of income. Also, look at our reputation. We're up to 93 reputation points, and we got another social rank. I have not looked at our book to see if we got another clan. No, we still have just the other one other clan. Uh, whoops, that uh, I think we probably have to raise our social rank a couple points now, or at least appease the, the ghouls clan in order to raise it any further. I have not bar I have not bought any barley seeds because I think we have to wait until summer before we can start to do that. Um, I think you can't, like it said, even when we were buying the barley seeds, we can't buy them until summer. They don't become available until summer. Now it's the 20th day of spring. How many days are in, in a season? I don't know, but it's 41 days until winter. So it's got to be done soon. Spring has got to be done very, very soon, actually. So just clearing out a couple more of these things. I want to make sure that we've got a couple spots in between the, the new brew house and the water so that we can place a row of... Um, what do you call it? Uh, ah, what are those things? Um, rain barrels. We want to be able to place a row of rain barrels in between uh, the bar and the water too as well. So I want the rain barrels on that side. It'll just make more sense. So I'm just clearing off some of the last few things here. So we've got some more iron. You know what we're going to do? Actually, you know what? I don't know why I didn't do this before. Didn't even think of it. We're going to put the iron, the iron storage. Uh, let's see. We're going to we're going to, oh, uh, we don't have an ore, uh, we should build an ore yard and put it here. That way, all the ore that we get, we can throw in here and that will, uh, oh, it, it's, hey, it cycled all through the whole thing. So I put the ore yard here and it filled up this one and it also filled up this one all at the same time. Oh, wild. I didn't know it would do that. And then I'm sure it will eject the iron into here. We could put a, an, an, I wonder if we did, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if we put the iron, the ingot yard on this side. I wonder if they would all fill into there. Probably not. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Uh, and any iron ingots that I have on me, I think I have one. No, I guess I have none. Let's put our limestone away. So far, I haven't had a lot of uses for limestone. I know there's some floors and stuff that we can build with it, which is going to be important. What is so heavy on us? Uh, we need to eat here. What is, there's something that's apparently really heavy on us. Uh, we've got some leaves and stuff. Uh, well, let's go rest. Let's go rest because tomorrow's a new day. The bar is busy. Hopefully they don't break out into a fight. And every once in a while, you can see them sleeping in a bed. And we make 20 bucks when they sleep in, in one of our beds. But it doesn't happen very often. Maybe as time goes on, maybe, maybe different clans will sleep in our beds more often. So that'll be interesting. Okay, I think we're just about ready to start building our brew house. So we need to do one more thing here. It's really important. I need to convert this sawmill into making lumber planks as opposed to the decorative planks we'll grab all of the decorative planks and everything here just so that we can sell off anything that we're not going to use and make sure that these sawmills now work at 100 percent capacity there we go looks good we are totally overloaded, but that's okay. We're ready to start building. Ha ha! We're going to start building the brew house. Now, the brew house doesn't need to be fancy. It just needs to be big enough. So, hold on. Let me just kind of measure this for a second. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to walls. We're going to start with walls here. So, one... Hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven was the width of this one. So, I'm going to make the new one a width of ten. And, but it's going to be longer, too, as well, So because I want to be able to have at least two, if not three, different brewing kettles, as well as kegs to store any of the beer that uh, any of the beer that we can't sell immediately, right? And we, I, I think being able to store the beer is going to be key for a success here. And I think beer will store pretty much forever. So I think we'll go like that. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll come down yeah that's that's fine i I'm, I'm like oh my god but it's gonna cover up the other place but this is gonna be our home eventually so that's fine that's fine so i just want this the brew has to be nice and big and hold on i feel like i feel like i missed something there i missed i missed a, oh i guess i can't build there that's why there's a piece of schmutz there didn't even see the schmutz okay and then back to two there we go uh, can't oh there we go there's a wall okay excellent now how long do we want it so the kegs I'm just out of curiosity wow we're moving really slow here carrying a lot of stuff too as well okay so the beer keg is basically one two three four I know it's I know it's not that big but it, it really it takes up four in my opinion 
So let's see if we do, I want to have room for one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And then if we want three of them, we need to go one, two, three, four. And I think that's probably a good idea. I, I'd like, I'd rather know that we have extra room than not enough. You know what I mean? Of course you do. Of course. Oh, we don't, uh, we're out of lumber planks. Okay, let's go grab some more of those. So we're using up our, our materials as we go here. We're getting a little bit faster as we go because, of course, we're burning through them. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Okay, and nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in, oh, there's some in there. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. This is going to be so, it's going to be, this is going to be the biggest thing that I've built in this game so far. And uh, just in terms of, industry i i don't know how well this is going to work i mean first of all um what's it going to be like getting more than one clan in the bar at the same time and will they actually drink from the right treant automatically i i like i don't know these things i don't know if that'll work well or not uh should i be clearing all that grass actually before i place this down i don't know i guess i guess we're going to find that out too as well let's clear this clear this clear this clear this clear this all this stuff you know what? I should, probably should be clearing this, this grass before I start building here. It might look funny. I don't know. I have no idea. It's probably not necessary. Probably not. Yeah, because we're going to be putting floors down. We might do the limestone floors um, just to make use of some of the limestone that we're going to be getting. We're going to get a lot of limestone because... Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. Don't, don't, don't build yourself in there. Okay, so we need some more lumber planks. That's fine. Let's sell off anything that we've got that we don't need. Let's see here. Uh, you know what? We'll keep that wood. We'll sell off these planks. We'll sell off the sawdust. Oh, we've got a boot. A rotten boot. Uh, this boot is far too rotten to be of any use. Well, that's unfortunate. I could put one boot on one foot. That might be handy. No, probably not. <laughs> oh, we've got sunflower seeds. Yeah, so I don't think we can buy the barley seeds until summer. Because you'll notice, actually, it even says here. So this seed, uh, so this was the pea seeds, only available during spring. Some of them are only available during autumn. Some of them, some of them only during summer. And the barley seeds were only available during summer. So we have to wait. But we do have 109 reputation points. I would love to build a washing trough. Oh, you know what we need? We need the pigeon stuff. <gasps> Where's the pigeon stuff? So we can start breeding pigeons. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Where is it here? Pigeon, pigeon sleeping box. Let's get that. Let's get the pigeon feeding box. Okay, and go see what these need to be built. Um, we need more wood anyway. Okay, so let's go around here. Oh, I went the long way. Why did I go the long way? That was that was very smart at all. <laughs> not, not in the least. Okay, so let's see. What do we need to build the pigeon boxes here? And maybe we'll build them over here for now. I don't know if, where, where I should build them. Maybe there's going to be better choices. But let's see. So the pigeon boxes, where are you? Uh, is it outdoor, out nature? Nope. Uh, where is it? Interior? No. No, it wouldn't be interior. Utility. I would think it would be under utility. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I haven't actually used the blueprints. No, I have to actually use the blueprints. There we go. Ha ha ha. Ah, silly. Dude, going out of order here. All right, so now they should... Ah, there they are, the pigeon feeding box. The pigeon feeding box... Hold on, let's let's read this. The pigeon feeding box is an optional structure to feed many pigeons at once. Normally, pigeons eat the food stored in their sleeping box, but, but with a lot of boxes, feeding your birds can get quite a chore. With a feeding box, you can store your food in one place, and nearby pigeons will open sleeping box... With an open sleeping box, automatically grew up, grab their food if hungry. Okay, so that's handy. We may not need that right away. What we really need is a sleeping box. Pigeon sleeping box is the home of a single pigeon. To hatch one, place a pigeon egg inside it. When it's hatched, you have to open the box so the pigeon can fly around. Locked up pigeons may be safe from bad weather, but don't gain happiness, which is necessary if you want skilled pigeons and high quality products like feathers. Ooh, feathers. Interesting. If the pigeon is hatched, select the sleeping box and check out the pigeon menu appearing. It contains important information about treating your pigeons right. Okay, so we want to build this. We're going to need, oh wow, we're going to need bales. Okay, so we're going to need lots of stuff. We're going to need bales. We're going to need limestone. So we got, we, we, I remember we picked up our bale last time. We didn't pl place it back down. So let's place our bale back down and we need to start making some more hay, especially for this pigeon box. I don't think we have enough on us. We might have some on us. I think I sold it, actually. We have some straw, but we don't have hay. Okay, so let's open this up. Let's build some more hay. So we use that with Miriam grass, uh, the seaweed, no. 
I think we... Grass is the biggest thing. Grass. Uh, okay, so we have to take one out of here. There we go. So now we're making hay again. We'll, we need 50. We need 50 to build a pigeon box. So that's going to take some time. But at least that's going now. Oh, and uh, let's grab our wood too as well. Wonderful. Oh, this is great. Uh, and we just, yeah, we needed limestone. Yeah, I think we got everything else. So let's grab that. Let's grab that. Let's deposit any extra wood that we have on us. Oh, storage is full. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Let's throw that in there. Good, 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 good. Any any sawdust that we can collect too as well that we'll just take everything here. Sure, why not? Everything. Yes. There we go. Because we can sell the sawdust too as well. Uh, super heavy. Uh, let's go. But uh, And I also want to build good floors in here. Uh, actually, let's take a look at the floors. What are our floor options? Um, indoor floors. So we can build a limestone floor, which gives us one tavern comfort point. And minus three. It's actually not better than the wooden panel floor. The wooden panel floor is one tavern point. And the, it doesn't really matter for this one, actually, because... You know what? Let's do limestone floors for the brew house. That would make sense. Um, the brew house doesn't have to be pretty. Um, it, it, not that it would be... It wouldn't. It's not going to be not pretty, um, because uh, the the limestone floors aren't bad for the tavern. They're terrible for the dorm. You don't want to build the limestone floors in the dorm. But uh, yeah, so we also have to think about where we're going to put a door here. Where are we going to put a door? Uh, let's see. Let's grab a door. We can always move it later if necessary. I think we'll keep the door up north here. It just makes more sense. Now, oh, uh, what do we need for the door? Whoops. Oh, uh, we need the uh, we need the fancy lumber. Okay, we won't worry about the door right now. Uh, what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to kill this wall so that we can get in and out. And we're going to start building our floors. So, just so that we can use up that limestone as quickly as possible. It's uh, We're going to need a lot of limestone for this, but don't worry. We're going to get a lot, a lot of limestone. Actually, I kind of like that. That looks nice. Actually, that looks really nice. I, I like that a lot. For the brew house, I think that looks just dandy. I think that looks quite nice. Very nice. Oh, and we're out of... That's fine. We're going to have a lot of limestone because we have to get a lot of... Um, iron. So let's finish off the rest of this wall on this side. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we, I, and the doors, now we're probably going to have multiple doors to get in here, in and out of here too as well. Um, we can start building things like, I don't know, we might need the fine logs for this too as well. We can start building things like the rain barrels and stuff out here so they can start filling up. But really the biggest thing I think for this now is getting the floors down and getting these beer brewing kettles. Start. Like we need to start getting some iron because can't do anything without iron. Okay, so, oh, we need to eat too as well. I'm not I'm not paying attention to my base needs because we have so much to do here. We need, also need to do a little bit of fishing. Whoops, not, not gathering water. We need to do fishing. I just gathered some salt water. Whoops, my bad. Um, uh, actually, you know what? While we're here... Oh, I just caught a fish. How do you like that? We're going to change this back over to decorative planks because we're going to need some more of those very, very quickly. It's amazing how quickly you can get things going here in this game. Uh, let's go. Eight. Do, do a little bit of fishing. Replenish some of that stamina. Just a little bit. We don't need to do a whole bunch of this. Oh, what do we got here? So we got a sleeping desire. This effect will disappear. You feel sleepy in a good way. And, and for... Oh, I, oh. Uh, and every second rest... Uh, sorry, you feel sleeping in a good way, and every second rest is better than before. Sleeping restores 50% more stamina. Oh, that's interesting. So, uh, we'll get a good night's sleep this next day, which is amazing. That'll be really good. Okay, good. That's all we need for now. Let's go start digging some rocks. Uh, hold on. What What is... We've got a lot of stuff in our inventory. Oh, you know what? Lumber planks. Yeah. You know what? We could start doing... Now, the brew house doesn't have to be totally even with the bar, but I do want it to be attached to the bar. So what we could do is start the... So if we did... So we've got a wall here. We could do the door here, and we could attach the bar here. That way we can put a door in between right here so we can access the brew house without going into the bar. So we start the bar, like, here. And now the bar is going to be quite large... Because I want to be able to fit in a lot of the decorative stuff, as well as, you know, like, have a gambling area and everything in there, too, as well. And, uh, to be honest with you, uh, we'll, we could probably do the dorms down here. Like, do a little in sort of south of the brew house, which might work out well. And we'll have the bar, we'll have it come over one more, and then we'll start going down. This is going to be huge, man. This place is going to be massive. Yeah, we're going to have to clear that tree. I knew that was going to happen. That's okay. You know what? I'm going to chop the tree a little bit. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to clear this wall so that we can get in and out of here for now. Clear. There we go. Ah, people coming to the bar. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
Let's clear this tree. It's only got a couple more hits before it's done. Uh, and I want to use up as much stamina as possible because when we sleep, we're going to restore our stamina 50% faster, which is absolutely fantastic. Eat a little bit. This is going quite well. This bar is going to be huge, man. It's going to be massive. But it has to be big. If we're going to be able to support multiple clans coming in here and multiple different beer types, it has to be big. So we're probably going to have our treants over here. We'll have a, a series of treants on this side. And ho I don't know if they will automatically pick the right treant or not. I have no idea. I uh, just need to get back home. Come on. Oh, so heavy. Actually, you know what we could do? We can replenish some of the logs over here. It just takes a really long time to get over there. <laughs> Whoops. Um, hey, another thing we could do is we could plant some of these scholar fire seeds. Um, before I forget, I keep forgetting to plant them, but I wanted to make sure that I was with you guys before I started planting them. So there's a few logs there. And then we can replenish some of this stuff up here. Let's grab that. Grab that. Hello? Why can't I grab that? Are we that full? I can't, I can't take anything more. It's not letting me. Oh, it's automatically refilling it. Oh, I see what was happening. Okay, so let's re put uh, the rest of that wood in there. No, I think that's it. Uh, we've, do we have some decoratives? We've got a little bit of decorative. So enough to build some doors now too as well. Because that, that was going to be a huge pain, not having being able to get back in and out of these rooms. Uh, looks like they're not terribly unhappy. I've been watching their happiness. See, they, they've been actually saying positive things actually in the bar, which is great. Watching their happiness to make sure that they're enjoying the bar. If they get too drunk, they will get into fights though. Hey, he just... Did she just sleep with me? <laughs> she slept in the same bed with me. Mm, that's where little orcs come from. <laughs> There's a theory that orcs are grown. They don't actually breed, they're grown. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a Warhammer thing. I, I think actually in Lord of the Rings, they grew the orcs, or they grew the Urukai, which was interesting. <laughs> but yeah, she totally slept in the same straw bed with me. That was interesting. Um, I hope we had a good time. <laughs> all we did was talk all night. It was a really emotional experience. It was an orcish, orcish moment. Um, we need... Do we have any more... <gasps> oh, okay. For a second there, I thought I was out of oats. We need more bread. So I'm going to put 10 in here of oats. And I'm going to put 10 of the yeast. And that will make us... A whole ton of bread. So I love I love that I can just put stuff in the chest and be done with it. Um, just out of curiosity. So it, they did put the iron ingots in here it, rather than putting it in the storage area. That's fine. Not a big deal. I'll just move that around. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. Let's put the ingots on this side. Perfect. Okay. So let's get back to work here, guys. This is actually going very, very well. So... Uh, I think, okay, so we're going to put a door. Hopefully we're, hopefully we're not running low on nails. That is possible. <laughs> that is going to happen at some point in time. So we're going to put a door right here so that we can access the brew house through here. And then I think the inn, we're going to put a back door here that's, you know, nice and easily accessible so that we can get in and out from here and here. We'll put another door right here, I think, but we got to put a wall back there. Uh, do we want another door there? Uh... Just for convenience, it's not necessary. I don't know. I think where are we going to put our... I, I don't know where we're going to put our door. We need to clear this stump too as well. Let's get rid of that before the hawker gets here and then we'll sell. Oh, clicky, click, click. This is why I did this on my own, guys, because it's it's quite a painful experience. We are totally out of food, so I have to go back and get up some get some food very quickly here. I just want to clear as much of this as I can. Uh, it takes so long. I'm clicking it as fast as I can. I'm really looking forward to uh, Orcish Inn version 1. Point, or point 0.19 because he's going to have it so that we can do, uh, cl we can have uh, click 20 at a time, chop 20 at a time, which will make life far easier. Oh, there we go. We got it. Done. Now it's out of the way. Uh, there's only a couple more trees we need to clear down here, so it's actually not too bad. We should be clearing some of this grass as we walk through it because that is slowing us down too as well. Okay, let's go grab some food because we are hungry. We're almost out of time, too, as well, I think. <laughs> Unfortunately, but we're making good progress today. I think we got uh, we got a lot done so far. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hold on, let's go. Let's eat some food. The R button only works if the last thing you've done is eat food. If you run out of food, the R button doesn't work anymore. So now I can hit R once you've got it selected. Yeah, okay, then we're going to have to do a little bit of fishing. Did I? Uh, we must have lost some crops. On, on occasion... Um, we get some stormy weather and I lose some crops and it's very upsetting. 
Uh, as a matter of fact, all of our hops plants are a little bit damaged. Each and every one of them are a little bit damaged. And that must be from storms that are happening at night or something. I think in spring it rains a lot. I wonder if we're going to get this kind of rain in the summer. I wonder what's going to happen. It must be getting close to summer. I haven't been really paying attention to see where we are. We'll see in the morning because, uh, well, no, it tells you in the morning what season it is. Actually, I think it tells you right. Summer. Oh, it is summer. Summer of year one. <gasps> Plants have Oh, sorry. Let's read this. Plants have a main season, which is noted in the seeds description. Plants growing in their main season yield crops with higher quality. Uh, plants with which don't have summer as their main season need longer to grow. And if the plant would normally regrow its crop, it doesn't regrow them anymore. Oh, I wonder if crops will regrow now. Oh, traders' inventories change too. Have an eye, have an eye on nature as well. Uh oh. No, no, no. Don't start fighting, guys. No. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, so we got a bar fight. They will trash the place if we're not careful. So let's get over here. <laughs> we're totally encumbered too. Uh, we have way too much stuff on us. Uh, I wonder if they'll stop fighting over time. Oh, they're coming after me. No, no, leave me alone. Oh, what did I? Oh, I just got brass knuckles. <gasps> did I just get brass knuckles? That's what it looked like. Back off. Get out of here. Go home. Go home. Stop trashing the bar. We just got something else too. I think we just got a bloody bandage. <laughs> a tooth. Get out of here. He's trashing my bar. Get out. Get out. Get out! Get out! Oh, we're totally bleeding. Uh oh. I hope. I wonder if we can die in this game. Oh, we just got another bloody bandage. Okay, so <laughs> we are bleeding like crazy. Uh, so this. What? What exactly does this do to us again? Um, we are bleeding, and every instance of the status will drain its drain stamina. Okay, so let's clear the clear the bleeding. We do have some bandages left, somewhere. There they are. So that cleared seven of the bleeding. This cleared another seven. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was a lot. Okay, so let's sell... What do we have on us? We've got a lot of lumber. Okay, let's sell the lumber that we have on us, because that's we just can't move here. Sell, sell. I think we've got some sawdust that we can sell. That should be good. I'm going to sell these lumber... Nope, we still need some lumber planks, so that's fine. Hey, we got brass knuckles! So a very cheap and basic variant of brass knuckles with a very with very thin with a very thin bronze layer increases damage done during during bar brawls by five percent per quality star, therefore zero percent in total. So this one it doesn't really help us. So we might as well sell it. It has to be higher than quality zero in order for it to work. <laughs> oh, but that's cool. We did find some brass knuckles. They're just they're just terrible. <laughs> did we get another wallet? Any more wallets? We got five teeth now. I want to make a necklace of orc teeth. <laughs> I want to make a necklace of work teeth. That would be amazing. Okay, so let's finish off a couple more things here. Actually, just give me one sec here. I'm just checking something. Yeah, we've got a couple more minutes here, and then we're going to have to wrap it up. Okay, let's keep building these walls down. I don't know where we're going to put the entrance. I have to sort of decide how big we want this bar. So to... Because I want, I, want I want it to be quite large, but not so big that... I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's big, right? Why Why not big? Bigger is better. At least in this case, it might be. Oh, we're out of resources. What do we need? Mm, we need... We need more lumber. And I, I think we'll... So I think if we build it down to about here... So let's clear this, all of these here as well. So I think if we build it down to about here and then come across, and then the back area here can be the dorms, right? Right back in here. I think that'll look really nice. I totally think that'll look really cool, actually. <laughs> it's gonna, it's a little bit of a square building. Like it's, I don't know, we, we almost need to add some flair to it somehow by adding some funny corners or something to it. I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll think about that on my own. Sort of think about what I can do to make it look a little bit more interesting. I, of course, we're going to add a bunch of stuff on the inside, but otherwise it's just a square building. And that's, I don't know, that's not tremendously interesting. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, stamina. We have to replenish some stamina. We are still bleeding, so that is affecting our stamina too as well. You know what, guys? We're going to call that an episode. I hope you are enjoying Orcish Inn. This is this is a blast, and I'm really looking forward to the newest inn that we're building right now. It's going to be absolutely massive. So anyway, guys, take care. I hope you're enjoying the series. Bye. Bye.